in the last uh, videos uh, we have learned how to set up this Ansible lab using Vagrant and VirtualBox and we have already set up Ansible lab for practicing and we also learned about how to configure the Ansible dot configuration and uh, yeah all those items now we have to learn the next topic which is uh, inventory an inventory file is a simple and plain text file where we store those host information and uh, which Ansible has to deal with. It can be simple in any format like YAML, INI, etc. Default inventory file location is EDC Ansible host, but you can specify a different inventory file in your Ansible configuration file or using the minus I when you execute the command. So let's uh, start with something uh, the basic inventory file or your first inventory file okay okay now we are inside our ansible engine or ansible control node and we have to create our first inventory so what we have to do is okay as i mentioned earlier always uh, practice to keep our your inventory file project files inside a specific directory or we call project directory instead of mixing up uh, files in in many places so in an organized way so i am doing something like okay i create a new directory inventory demo so inventory demo cd inventory demo so i have <coughs> sorry uh no files here so we will create our first inventory file here so as a sample inventory file, so we'll create like vim my inventory then your first file. So I put like myself. This is a group I mentioned. Okay, this is a local host. And I put other servers like web servers. Web servers. So this is another group. then i add few files like server a server b server c like that then i create another group which is a database server so i put database db1 db2 db3 like that this is how we create the inventory file so here you can see we have seven uh, servers including the local host and we have created three groups inventory groups and we will see how ansible will detect this item so so i use like ansible all hyphen i i want to use the inventory file as inventory then with the command list host okay good now i can see ansible is detecting all the servers inside actually the servers are not online or not reachable ansible will just detect the inventory items from the file let's say i want to run this playbook or run the execute only some tasks for web servers so i can use like ansible web servers run it so it will detect only the web servers like that so this is a simple inventory thing let's say um, if you if i have uh, this both items let's say we have web servers and we have uh, database now i need to group both web and database servers in a group called servers so what you have to do we have to create another group which is a parent group for both so what i have to do vim inventory here i create a new group called servers then i add a option children so what are who are the children like so i put database and web servers are the children of server inventory group and save it now we try ansible servers now see you can see web servers and database servers are part of the server inventory group and it's listed so you can see here i put all and it's it, it will display localhost as well 
okay this is the very basics of inventory you can have uh, more options inside the inventory file like uh, you can add the inventory variables you can add these connection methods all those things that one we will discuss later let's say i want to uh, i want to use only some items which is starting with server uh, server or something start with a db so how we want to do is we can do the same thing so instead of servers what you have to do is we can use the patterns so the pattern will be like ansible then i want to use the pattern let's say i want to use starting with uh, db and star okay and let's say i want to i want to show all the items starting with local local star so it will display only the local host let's say you want to start with only server a so i can use like this server a so this is how you can use the patterns let's say you have a similar uh, you want to add add a lot of uh, hosts following similar patterns instead of uh, instead of you add a lot of entries you can add with some pattern uh, okay we will have some example here um, inventory so i have a new group called um, so many servers so many servers okay now in this group i have host called database db then i have servers starting with the db server a then uh, example.com db server b dot example.com then dbc like that and i have until set so you have to keep all these entries instead what you can try is here we have since we already mentioned we can have the pattern based items inside so what i do db then you use a normal pattern like a to let's say a to uh, maybe uh, f or z whatever the items then you put example.com let's say you have another uh, item uh, with ip so what you can do okay 192 168 uh, 0 dot you have 1 2 3 4 like that so i want to use until 10 so 0 dot then i use the pattern 10 column 20 which means i need 0 dot 1 0 dot 10 0 dot 11 12 13 14 until 20 okay so we have so many uh, servers here but we put we use the patterns to avoid a lot of entries in our inventory file let's see how this one will work okay maybe we put this in a different group um, many ips now we use same uh, ansible list host command and we use so many servers see we already we only mentioned the dba column f and ansible will automatically expand based on the pattern let's see the other one uh, many ips here you go okay so this is how you can add the pattern based host entries inside the inventory so this is uh, a simple method and um, we have used the INI based uh, plain text file for the inventory and this one is static means you add entries inside the host file or the inventory file and you have to edit this file every time when you have a new entry or you have to remove any entries from the file so we call it static inventory uh, please remember if you don't uh, mention this file and so we will take the inventory from the default location so it will try to take it from the default location which is um, ls minus l slash dc ansible host so of course this one do not have any entries or all commander okay so that's why we mentioned the host file or the inventory file using minus i okay let's say you want to you don't want to mention this inventory file every time what you can do is 
dim ansible.cfg so we don't have ansible.cfg here so we are creating a fresh ansible.cfg and here we use okay defaults inventory equal to dot slash my inventory file so i am telling ansible okay my inventory is in the current directory named inventory okay now we have one ansible.cfg now we try this without telling the inventory file good so ansible automatically take the file from uh, inventory file from the current location based on the ansible.cfg okay. cool now we have uh, another uh, situation let's say we have uh, a lot of um, machines or virtual machines uh, or containers or other ports something like that then it's not uh, practically possible to add these entries inside a um, static inventory file so what you have to do is we have to use the dynamic inventory scripts for this purpose so uh, fortunately we have uh, some uh, community based scripts available here so if you check this repository i will give the link in the description if you check the, check the repository you can see there are available script for let's say you can see the common items like azure rm then cloud forms then there is uh, docker.py then foreman i think we have almost all common items for the cloud or with then openshift so this inventory script you can use for dynamically uh, use the inventory inside ansible uh, playbook or ansible commands so you have to just uh, clone the repo or you can just copy paste whatever you want to do so if you have a test environment with something like vmware or ovid or openshift you can try with these scripts and ansible will automatically uh, pass the list of uh, ports or nodes yeah whatever it is so for this demo we don't have this arrangement but of course we you will see this uh, example in the upcoming videos okay and uh, that's all, all for the inventory part it's very clear it's very simple so you just need to create the inventory file and use common patterns or the static file or, or the normal uh, server names uh, etc there are some uh, ad additional options like uh, setting up the inventory connection methods and all we will learn that in the upcoming video and um, that's all for this inventory part and, and thank you.